Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the APP Accelerator Pedal Position Sensor testing and using the 8-channel oscilloscope. As you can see on screen, this is the uh, 8-channel scope that we have on our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Now, uh, this uh, scope, it's a completely reinforced uh, scope that we carry on our website. We add uh, components to it, uh, extra capacitors, diodes, and so on and so forth, uh, which we use for, I mean, the, to make it more, uh, even more so for automotive purposes. It is an 8-channel scope. It is, but it, we definitely make it even more so for automotive purposes. Now, on screen, as you can see here, is the uh, uh, the navigation for the software on the screen itself, uh, on the on the software itself. In other words, so you go into uh, uh, sensors, uh, and within sensors itself, you go. There's a bunch of different sensors that you have. Uh, and so one of those is the sensor, the actual sensor. You have actuator sensors, ignition, and so on and so forth. And so you go into the sensor um, uh, component, and it's all, it's, everything is in the setup. And as you go uh, come across different sensors, you can actually uh, update or add it uh, to the software itself. And you can create your own uh, uh, waveform, a website, within the scope itself. So again, now you go into the different sensors that we that you have that you see on the uh, on the software, and this is part of the software. And you go into the APP sensor, the accelerator pedal position sensor. And as you can see on screen, uh, the APP sensor itself. Uh, we're going to show you a short uh, video clip. The accelerator pedal position sensor is of central importance to the drive-by-wire system. This sensor is designed to provide the ECM with accelerator pedal position as well as its rate of change, or how fast the driver is pushing on the gas pedal. Now, going back to the video itself, okay? Um, basically, what you what you see on screen right now, uh, it's a um, you can see the upper two waveforms are the. Uh, the, the, the whatever it's uh, the sample waveforms on the on, on the um, on the software okay uh, so you have the two uh, yellow and blue uh, waveforms and you see the uh, the, uh, the APP sensor going up and down uh, and then you also have on the bottom you have channels one and two so take a look at this video clip connect each channel to the two or three potentiometer output signals the need for a multi-channel scope is becoming more apparent as more sensors will be added to future vehicles. With the scope connected, check the output signals with the APP sensor at rest. Compare to proper specifications. Then slowly press on the accelerator pedal. And observe for any glitches or sudden drops in signal voltage. This procedure is somewhat similar to checking a TPS sensor. Okay, back to the video. So as you can see on the video itself, um, we have uh, the upper two um, um, uh, signals that you that you see on the on the waveform. These are the pre-programmed sample waveforms. Okay, uh, none of these show a uh, a glitch. Uh, so basically, it, it just shows you a sample wave. This is the this is what the APP sensor uh, signal should look like with a good uh, sensor itself, you know, when if you have a good sensor, uh, and then um, we we'll go further. That further down, you're going to see, uh, for example, um, the lower flat lines are the uh, connected uh, channels one and two. Okay, now channels one and two, of course, are the you know we're not connected to an APP sensor, uh, but we're going to show you signals and what. Uh, uh, the, the scope itself, uh, it, you know, what glitches look like. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, whenever when the sensor is uh, selected, it actually sets itself up, so you don't have to uh, reset the uh, uh, set the amplitude. You don't you don't have to do any settings whatsoever. 
Uh, it simply goes into it sets itself to, to the right uh, to the right setting. Now on the uh, in yellow here, you as you can see, this is a, a square waveform that we're inputting into the sensor itself, uh, just to show you uh, uh, what it you know what what a signal uh, should, would look like. <clears throat> so this is only a square wave signal that, and by the way, the scope itself has a, an output for the square wave, uh, so that you can test the channels. Okay, once you can test it, once you test the channels, then you know that the um, uh, you know the scope is working properly. Now, using the right wiring diagram as a reference is important. Uh, the AVP sensor, as you saw in the little video clips that we have from our video library. Uh, it gives you uh, two outputs, and these are the outputs, the upper two outputs that you see on screen, the sample waveforms. And basically, uh, you get uh, these uh, outputs are important because these are for redundant, uh, uh, because we have right now uh, drive-by wire systems. And the drive-by wire systems, basically, you need redundant uh, APP sensors because in case one of them fails, you have the other one. That's why what, that's what it's called redundant. Okay. Uh, so anyhow, and that that's basically what is uh, uh, why we have uh, these uh, uh, dual signals. Sometimes it's a triple signal um, uh, APP sensor. Now uh, going back to, uh, to to the video here, uh, basically the video the, the scope itself, as, as we said before, it's a uh, reinforced. Uh, you know, for us, to, uh, for, for you to do uh, automotive uh, uh, work. <clears throat> Again, this was a very simple video just to introduce you to the uh, navigation of the uh, oscilloscope itself and basic operation of the APP sensor uh, that you saw in the video clips. Now, uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our, our channel ADP Training, uh, where we expose you to um, automotive technology, diagnostics, and so on and so forth. Uh, we recommend that you uh, uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, we have a website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, where you can also subscribe to our newsletter and all that. And you, we always giving out free stuff every month. Uh, uh, a software here, a book, video clip, you know, book, an ebook clip there, and you know what have you. But it's all free stuff, anyways. You know. Uh, why not? You know. So anyway, so so try to our website. So so try to our channel here, ADP Training, and of course, you know, if uh, on, at the bottom of the of the YouTube screen here on the video screen, you you see a little dollar sign. That's if you want to donate uh, a few bucks to, to to our channel. You know, it, this is a free channel, and it costs a lot of money to do this stuff. So anyhow, we like to thank you for tuning into our channel, ADP Training, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.